Hi everybody, this is Flo from KMS Reviews and welcome to the episode 62 of the KMS Quick Shots. Today I'm met by German-based producer Martin Polle. You probably know him under his artist name, MP Gray. Hi Martin, nice to meet you. Hi Florian, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So the main reason for our interview today is your latest anthemic and emotional single called Me and You, you released recently. Can you tell us about how the song came to life? So what was the initial idea? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, imagine you are a couple and you have climbed high and crossed valleys and throughout time you understand each other blindly. Uh, it stays that way even if paths separate no matter what. So uh, did you take the idea from your personal experience or was it just a story you imagined in your head? Yes, this is a personal experience, very personal. And uh, so it was uh, very easy to write something about this theme. That explains why the emotion is so easily reachable in that song, because you just have to put on the song and you, you already know, okay, that's one that comes from the heart. <laughs> yes. So taking, taking this track as an example, can you describe your process of creating new songs from, uh, I don't know, from, from the concept uh, to the instrument tracks and the vocals, who does what and when? Yes. Uh, the process of um, creating a song begins uh, with an inspiration while jogging, hiking, or driving a car, then I take uh, quickly the idea into my mobile phone. And at home, I sit, or I sit down at the piano and uh, play the chord progressions and uh, begin to work on this idea uh, to make it uh, right for a song. So how long does it take uh, for the, the initial draft while jogging to a finished song, approximately? I think uh, it depends on the song, on, on the style from the song, but um, average, uh, I would say, um, three, four days. Okay, that quick. So um, do you have everything at hand in your studio uh, when, you, when you come home with the draft of the song? Can you easily access, I don't know, every virtual instrument possible? Or do you have a limited range of instruments with, uh, with uh, who you work with uh, those? Um, I work uh, with Cubase. Okay. That's my, my uh, program to, to uh, build up the song. And um, I use uh, native instruments, the collection of uh, instruments. I only play the piano and the other instruments I, I play on the keyboard. But um, to make it real, uh, I have collaborations with uh, some uh, very good musicians in the world uh, to make the song uh, um, as natural as possible. Out of personal uh, interest, how did you connect with these other musicians? Did you, I don't know, uh, write them just uh, an email or over the socials? Yes, uh, I use the platform Sound Better. I, I don't know if you know this platform. Yeah. And uh, there I can work with uh, very professional with uh, artists around the world. I have some frequently uh, used collabs. Um, guitarist, drummer, Alex Höfgen from Berlin, or Philip David Pence uh, from uh, Nashville. These are uh, very good musicians uh, who can find my idea or like who can easily work with my ideas and bring their influences into my songs. Were there also in, uh, musicians that wouldn't connect to your ideas uh, with whom you worked but decided not to continue working because they just couldn't make something of your ideas? No, it's uh, very easy uh, because I explain my ideas uh, um, in some sentences and um, then I hear their results and uh, mostly the results are very nice and uh, I have uh, nothing to change. Okay, so uh, back to the single Me and You. Um, will this tune be part of an EP or an album in the near future? Um, 
I released one album um, last year, and now um, I will see um, what see what what the next releases will bring, and uh, I decide uh, in the future perhaps uh, to release uh, an EP. Okay. Yes, but. Uh, The, the modern kind of uh, releasing is uh, more singles. Yeah, I, I told you several other musicians, they, and they told me that releasing singles over a, a certain amount of time uh, keeps you in the loop while releasing one album every two years and nobody cares about the, the album half a year from now. So yes. I, I guess you're right about the, the fact that uh, releasing singles is the way to go nowadays. So Absolutely. Let's talk about you, the artist. Uh, I learned a couple of months ago that you're not a full-time musician uh, or producer. So can you tell us about your daytime job? Yes. Uh, in real life, I'm a CEO of a bank, of a financial institution. And my job is uh, to manage financial risks of this bank. Um, market risk, credit risk is an um, analytical task. And... Um, But mathematics and mu music is uh, strong connected. So the, that would have been my next question because I wonder how does this job fit Martin, the producer slash uh, musician? So isn't this sort of a Jekyll and Hyde thing? Yes, uh, it's, it's very interesting, uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, I could say uh, there's something uh, uh, um, th this could be, yes. Uh, because um, the mathematics is one person and the musician the other person. But um, the thing is, in, in both things, you must uh, do it very analytical and a little bit with feeling. Yeah, and you follow certain rules, but in a, in a range that allows you to be creative at the same time. I guess this uh, fits for both shoes, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So. You, you just told me that your creativity comes from, from everyday tasks like jogging or driving or something like this. Would you say you have a muse, a, a special person that uh, gives you extra creativity or extra um, drive to create something? Yes, uh, my friends, my family are um, uh, um, a, a source of creativity for me. And the nature in our region, jogging on a lake, on a sea, uh, in the wood, as the nature is uh, very inspiring for me. Mm -hmm. So um, when working, when finishing the tracks and when uh, collaborating with others, you reach a point where you have to work together as, as with the production team, I guess. Or uh, probably you're doing this all alone. So is there a production team involved in the process or is it a one-man gig? Uh, this is a one-man uh, show. Uh, I can say I have the idea and uh, I control the process and I bring uh, the musicians uh, together with their ideas. But every musician works on his uh, studio and uh, bring into the song their uh, personal uh, uh, feelings and mood. Um, and the, the, uh, the finished uh, product, uh, the finished song, uh, is very surprising for, the, for each of the musicians. I can, I can guess that everybody brings in a special amount of heart and soul, but no one expects really the finished track once it comes out and, and it's a great aha moment when, when it is finally released because as I understand it you're sort of the puppeteer that brings together all the, all the elements of the track and merges them together so uh, I guess this is the way that, that your tracks come to life is, is this true? Mm -hmm. I make an example uh, the singer Rudiger uh, from Los Angeles um, often works with me and he uh, works on a very low level of uh, arrangement, only a piano track or other or a guitar track. And then he brings his full vocals. And then I start uh, after them as a full production and arrangement process. 
and he is very surprised on the end uh, what comes out. So you you don't send him the finished backing tracks, but only several tracks to work with. Only only a track with a piano and uh, with my lead vocals with my main ideas with the top line, and uh, then he works on the song and uh, brings me his uh, full uh, uh, vocals, and um, after them I begin to arrange the full song. Wow. Okay. I didn't know it was even possible for a singer to to feel the song while it isn't even finished yet. <laughs> so so he has to feel the idea more than the backing tracks, so to speak. He has a good uh, uh, imagi imagination for the, for the songs. Mm -hmm. So um, you spend uh, a range of genres. Uh, you're not only a pop musician or a ballad uh, player, but you have a certain range in which you are creating. If you could try out one genre that you haven't created music in yet, which one would that be and why? Yes, um, I would uh, do any. I, I would do something uh, in hip hop because really? I like the cool rhythm and the meaningful uh, lyrics. You're full of surprises, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, that uh, normally uh, it, it doesn't. It isn't such a great distance from creating in one genre to another. It, it just sets. Uh, you, you have to be creative, and from there on, I guess you can even go death metal if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, final question of the evening, what are the projects uh, for the rest of 2021? You mentioned before that you are releasing singles on the go and see how this, this goes. Do you have any new singles in the making right now? Yes, uh, I will. As a one pillar is uh, the English uh, tracks uh, with Rudiger on the vocals. This is one uh, important line for me. Uh, because uh, the work is uh, very delightful with him. Um, but I will do, uh, will open a, a second pillar with uh, the Berlin based uh, uh, singer, female singer, Sarah Mosquera. Um, I released uh, this year a song, Nuancen von Schwarz, mm -hmm. very nice Deutsch pop. And uh, I can imagine that I will uh, do some other songs uh, with her in the next time. So it's uh, already plans in the making and no uh, bigger pauses planned, right? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Martin, thank you very yeah. much for being with me tonight. It was a pleasure to have you on the show. Guys, if you want to know more about Martin Polly or better MP Gray and his production and work, please check out the links in the description of the video or the podcast. That's it for tonight. All I have to say is be safe, guys, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.